みなさい。ごめんなさい。すみませんでした。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。失礼します。I want to formally and publicly apologize. Yesterday, we missed Spooky Scary Sunday. Now, I was feeling a little tired. What did I hop for? Like, I know myself and I know I could have grinded out another six hours to get the Spooky Scary Sunday out yesterday. And it would have been out at around like midnight. But I decided just it could wait another day and I'm glad I did that because now I got energy. So I want to apologize. And just because this is a Spooky Scary Monday, that don't mean that you're not about to slice that like button, fella. Oh, y'all like my knife? Y'all gonna figure out where I got it from soon enough, but in the meantime, you hear that? That's my knife grazing your neck. Let's get the show started. Now, if you don't know what Spooky Scary Sunday is, then, um, what can I really say anymore? This is like the 25th episode. If you literally don't know what Spooky Scary Sunday is, <laughs> and I don't wanna hear it, hey, you cool, it's Spooky Scary Monday. It is Sunday, for all intents and purposes of this video. Spooky Scary Sunday is a show where every Sunday the samurai gather together, we gather around, we congregate, and we come together as the beautiful tribe that we are. At over 6.3 million strong. We sit back, relax, and we watch some scary videos sent in by you guys via Twitter using the hashtag Spooky Scary Sunday. Go to Twitter, follow me at Corey Kenshin. You hashtag Spooky Scary Sunday and leave a link to the scariest video that you know. And if your video gets picked, you get a shout out. Who the freak said that? So sit back, relax, grab some snacks. Go ahead, get you a bag of ruffles, some now laters, and a Capri Sun. And with that being said, first video. <laughs> Now the first video for this week is called I bought my friend his dream car. <laughs> I'm trying to mentally prepare myself for this because it was uploaded by Meat Canyon. Now this was uploaded by Etchy Dude. Etchy Dude, for real. So I want to thank you for sending this to me and if there's anything that you ever need, um, don't let me know. Don't. <laughs> okay, so... Look at the tongue. What's up? <laughs> Look at the tongue. Well, uh, you picked me up with your camera and all these people, so um, I'm assuming I'm getting a car. Okay, well, I got a surprise for you. Guess whose it is. <laughs> I don't know, Dylan. Is it mine? Oh, oh my god. god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my <laughs> Listen my to god. the music that they're no playing. Way. Oh my god! You're so lucky. No oh my god! All right. Okay. All right. Come on, guys. Okay, guys. Guys. This is the sixth car you've given me. Oh my god! He's bought us all multiple cars. How many cars is it gonna take until it's not surprising anymore? I mean. I get you want to have Thanks. a reaction for the video, but holy fuck, let's ease up on the cackling and cheering for five minutes. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. Now, Dylan, I appreciate it. I just can't afford the insurance and property taxes on all these Lamborghinis, man. True. I push carts at Target, for God's sakes. Do you know how obnoxious I look driving a neon green Lamborghini <laughs> to a minimum wage job? It's horrible. <laughs> I can't sell them because you've leased all of these cars under your name. Oh, wow. So now I have crippling debt and six Lamborghinis. Who would want that, Dylan? Who? Tell me. <laughs> what are you trying to say, Greg? <laughs> what are you trying to say? Uh -oh. Honestly, what I'm saying is I don't want this car or any of the cars you've given me. Uh-oh. You f*** me, Dylan. It's about to get scary. What's your name? What are you even talking about? My name is Greg. Wrong! What's your name? I don't. I, oh my god. I don't know what you want. Your me to name's say. Dylan's friend. Your existence is being my friend. Oh my god. When people think of you, they really think of me. And that's who you are now. <laughs> this. I'm getting out of here, man. <laughs> oh! Dylan, <laughs> no. 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 Oh, <laughs> my
Oh my! Ugh. Oh! I have absorbed his nutrients. No one will refuse my generosity again. Right? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. No. Yeah, okay. I, no. Oh, oh, you're fine. Oh, you're so oh, oh, this is so oh, cool. Oh, 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 so oh, oh, my God. Yeah, good. Now get up here and feed. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Ah, easy. Just plenty to go around. This next one is called My Crazy New Neighbor Broke Into My House. And this was uploaded by Stephen D. Now this was sent to us by Caden, who gonna say some wanna visit the neighborhood. No, Caden, I don't. Do I want my neighbors breaking it? No, Caden. Let me introduce you to my little friend, Caden. He got an attitude and he only speak one language, buckshot. You don't wanna have a conversation with him. Carrie's boyfriend had just inherited his aunt's house after Jumping she passed right in. away. She was blind, so the house had speakers and wires around telling her. Mm -hmm. Back door open, fridge open, oh. back room window open. Honestly, the scary. robotic voice kind of freaked Carrie out, so the yeah. couple had to go through the house and remove tons of wires. After moving in, they got a puppy and it was nice not being alone. Her boyfriend had to leave for the weekend because of work, so she stayed home. One yeah. day, Carrie was out walking with her puppy and he started wagging near the fence. What? She turned, thinking he was making friends with the bird or critter again. But it was a man, tall, chubby, and unkempt, mm -mm. grinning at them. Why you got what a Hawaiian cool dog, shirt? he shouted. Thanks, he's a Native American Indian dog, she responded. Oh, I have a rare breed too, see? He then proceeded to point at a small Shih Tzu dog. I see. Cool, you have a good one. Carrie started feeling uneasy. My God! Why don't I come over and let our dogs meet? Maybe we can do play dates. Nah. They're new in town, right? Cause the old lady there died. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Now before we find out the intentions of Carrie's suspicious neighbor, we have a new sponsor for today and it's called- And I'm going to move forward. Here we are. Ah. You're new in town, right? Cause the old lady there died? Upset that he mentioned her boyfriend's aunt and she was scared he wanted to come over. I'm sorry, but I'm not looking to make friends right now. We Have good. a good one. Yep. Oh, come on. Anytime's a good time to make new friends. Hey, and no. he proceeded to start bolting around the corner towards the direction. Whoa! Carrie panicked. She grabbed her puppy from the ground and rushed to the house, locking all the doors. All exterior doors yo <laughs> yo just getting the mental image of that popping off bro walking inside <laughs> yo this is creepy as freak man you walking inside your house right <laughs> you get home from school ah, i'm about to watch me some cory kenshin give me a pop top real quick then your neighbor come from around the corner <laughs> Howdy, neighbor. Hello? What? What? I said, howdy, neighbor. You new in the neighborhood? Oh, hey. Yeah, just uh, moved in and everything. Hey, why are you standing behind that tree? Oh, this is just my favorite tree, that's all. Little old me don't mean you no harm. Do you want to meet? Uh, what do you mean, do you want to meet? Nothing crazy. I could just come on over. Uh, I'm actually about to get ready to head inside, so it was nice talking to you. Hey, hey, hey! Yeah. Uh Don't you walk up on I really just filmed a whole skit in the middle of the animation. I don't know why I'm so extra. Locked. House secure. Wait, I thought I removed all the wires. She hid behind a kitchen counter as it was the only place in the house with the windows and doors couldn't see. The Bruh. puppy got angry and started nibbling her, but she made sure not to Bad let him go because dog. she was afraid this man wanted to steal her puppy. She hears someone opening her back gate to the yard and she sees him. The man with the Hawaiian shirt. What? Was out there. He started looking at the windows and sliding door on the porch that looked into the kitchen. He tried the sliding door, grunting angrily when it wouldn't open. She was looking for her phone but realized Sir! that it was actually in the porch and she hoped he wouldn't notice. Front door opened, unsecured. 
Ooh. and immediately heard banging and scratching. Ooh. She took this chance to make her way out to the sliding back door to grab her phone and ran back and locked it again. Oh, there you are. I see you now. She just what locked is wrong it so with it you? was okay, but she didn't know if he was going to shatter the glass. She held her phone up and said, I called the police. They're on their way, and my cameras have your face, so please leave. He smiled and said, You haven't caught anyone yet. All I wanted was to play with your dog. You're such a tease. Carrie called 911 what? while he watched. She requested help, and they asked her to stay on the phone. He smiled. He held his hands up and left. The dispatch sent someone out, and she gave them a picture from her phone. However, the next day, there was no news of capture even though they said they would update her. So she stepped outside, and there he was, standing in the other yard, smiling at her. Hey, you wanna play today then? He began laughing loudly. Bro, I'm about she to ran kill inside, you. put her puppy away, and called the police again, and they said it would take time to arrive since last time it was a false alarm. Front wow. screen door opened, unsecured. She ran to the sliding door and it was unlocked. She quickly Why? locked it and heard banging on the side door. Carrie called her last hope for help, her boyfriend's mother who lived a couple blocks down. The woman was a black belt and a boxer. What? She heard her crying and the mother rushed over and all she heard from her kitchen was the scream, If you don't leave, I'll be forced to take you down. She Ding, down and saw her and the man outside. He was holding something shiny in his back pocket. Her boyfriend's mother suddenly grabbed the man and kicked him in the ribs as hard oh! as she could and made him drop to the ground. She screamed at Carrie and to call the cops again. Tell them he has a knife, they'll come quicker. The cops arrived soon after and the man Tell him we're white! <laughs> Carrie asked them what he was doing. Was he planning to hurt my puppy? The officer told her. You're naive if you thought this man wanted your puppy. He was after you, miss. He's a white yeah. criminal. Apparently, he was a suspect they couldn't find until now. Her boyfriend's mom stayed with Carrie over the night to make sure she was okay. A few days later, her boyfriend came back home, and he was updated on everything that happened. He proceeded to put up cameras and more security. He even put the speakers back into the house as well. <laughs> yeah. As that voice was actually able to help protect Carrie that horrifying weekend. Dang. My dude invited himself all the way in her house. <laughs> This next one is called True Horror Story About the Lumberjack, and it was uploaded by Juan C Entertainment. Now, this was sent to us by Jay Sean, who said, Hey, Corey, I love your videos. Keep it up. Well, Jay Sean, I just want to say thank you. I'll try my best, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. And just because you're really awesome, Jay Sean, just because you went out of your way to follow me on Twitter, I'm going to give you an extra three seconds. Shout out. All right. True horror story about the lumber. My name is Lewis, and I live in Switzerland. This story happened five years ago during the winter holidays. Hmm. It was an icy cold day, and the snow was falling continuously. So we had to warm the house all day long with the firewood, okay. putting it into the fireplace. Y'all gotta. My dad told us all the course. time that we should take care of the firewood. However, for the next days, we didn't do anything but just play Nintendo. Eventually, we noticed Bad. late around 9 p.m that we had run out of wood. Oh. Dad got angry. So, as a punishment, he sent me and my older sister to the local lumberjack who was famous in the area. His mm. shop was located one and a half kilometers away from our house. Dang. He was a really tall guy with a long beard and wore a black and white lumberjack shirt as a classic lumberjack. Anyway, at first he seemed very talkative. We ordered two bags full of wood, which were about 50 kilograms. He said, Okay, hold on. It'll take about 15 minutes to cut and wrap everything. All of a sudden, my sister had to go to the restroom. Hmm. He said that he would let her know where the toilet is, so she followed him. Bruh. I was waiting for about 15 minutes. Bruh, 15 minutes? Let me speak to all the older brothers out there. Matter of fact, not even just older brothers, older siblings. If you think I'm letting my sister walk away with a stranger? Yeah. 
I wish my neck could do a whole 360 because I would love to do that right now. You got me messed up. You gotta pee. I gotta pee. We pee in together, huh? Minutes, and then I noticed the place was silent. I saw neither my sister nor the man. Your sister did. I called my sister's name, but there was no answer. Then I got a message from my dad that if we bought the wood, then we should come home immediately. According to the local yeah, news, thanks, Dad, the for police are looking for a serial killer in the village 50 kilometers from here. Dad also attached a picture and oh, unfortunately thanks, Dad. very similar to the lumberjack. My heart dropped. I wanted to scream, but then he came with the bag of wood suddenly. Or my he sister. was smiling, but I could feel that something was weird. Or my sister. He looked joyful. Please, ask me where's your sister, he said and winked at me. She's what? She's certainly not far away from you. What? Then I noticed the red stains on his shirt. I nervously opened a wood sack, and the pink hair clip of my sister came out. I was full of anger. I grabbed a wooden bag with all my strength and hit the man. Get on the he ground! He screamed and fell on the floor, and I pulled out my... I ain't stopping there! I'm dead! You killed my sister! My pocket knife and stabbed him. Two or three many times. Suddenly, I heard a loud scream out of nowhere. Stop! <laughs> Lewis! The same thing! It was my sister. Oh! It was a prank! She was crying. Oh! I couldn't think straight. My head was all messed up. What have I done? I killed the wrong guy. I dropped the knife and stared at his cold body. But then I recognized that I had no time. I knew that we had to get rid of this body quickly while we were still alone in the shop without employees or customers. So I quickly looked around and found a hidden room, which was locked. We kicked the door and pushed him inside. And we were about to turn on the light in the room to find a cover, but then what I found was a huge shock. The room was full of people who had been cut in several pieces. It's the same. And the floor was covered with blood. Oh! The lumberjack was the real serial killer. We were so terrified that we quickly covered him with some fabric and then ran out of the shop. We ran home as fast as we could. Yeah, kilometer and a half. Dad asked us what happened. But we couldn't tell our parents anything. Since that day, we always made sure that we keep <laughs> enough wood before the heavy snow. But I'm still wondering if the police found all the bodies at that shop. Yo. That was literally a carbon copy of the diner story they freaking go to the place the actual real killer pranked one of the people in the story that person then snaps and killed the real killer who they thought was real but then turned out to be fake but then no double twist it was the real killer and my thing is they for real kept it a secret they went home uh where, where's the wood at guys dad uh what had happened was This next one is called Don't Let Them In and it was uploaded by Kalar who we reacted to last week. This was sent to us by Zyketic who said be sure to lock your doors at night. Saka, like you don't gotta tell me. I got buckshots forever trying to come in. Look at the detail. I so Last night, I was in my living room reading some stories about the black-eyed children and the real-life men in black. Mm. It was around 2.30 in the morning and my dog went to the door like he had to go out. I started to get up and he started growling at the door. He has never growled at anything in his life. He's only six months old. Then my other dog jumped up onto the couch, trembling and whining. Oh. She's a year old. Needless to say, this unnerved me, since I was reading about creepy stuff and was already a little freaked out. So, I just sat back on the couch and held my dog, trying to calm her down. Then a knock came on the door. Usually, my dogs go wild, barking and whining excitedly because they love people. But my six month old puppy ran away from it and came over by me. At this point, my heart was racing, and I was just terrified. 
All the lights in my house were off and the curtains were drawn. I don't have a peephole, so I peeked out through the blinds of the window behind me whoa, that overlooked whoa, whoa. the porch. There were two boys standing there. One looked to be around yeah, maybe so. five. He nope. was really little. And the other one was about ten, I'd say. They had their heads down and were wearing winter clothes, heavy jackets. How would you deal with a situation like this? It's nighttime, you're relaxing. Got my two dogs here watching a little Cory Kenshin. You wasn't expecting any visitors. You look out there, it's two kids with their heads kind of down at your front door. What you gonna do? And I don't want no tough guy answers. Man, I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna box them. Look at they kids, you're going to jail. Now, what's your real answer? I thought this was weird because it's in the middle of summer. Then, they both turn and look up at me. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't have a bulb on my porch light, so I couldn't see their faces, but they looked directly at the window. This freaked me out even more, so I moved away from the window and just sat on my couch. Bro, they saw you. I couldn't believe that this was happening. I had heard that if you knew about them, then they would visit you. Then one of them spoke. Ma'am, can you let us in? It's really cold out here, and my brother is hungry. I didn't I got move, chills. I got and I chills. didn't reply. I was immediately alarmed, because I had no idea how they knew I was a ma'am. I just sat there on my couch. <laughs> what the hell would two young kids be doing out at this time of night anyway? Plus, it's June in Alabama. It isn't cold by any means. I had read stories, and I thought, nope, not gonna answer the door, f*** this. Yeah. Ma'am, please let us in. I saw you through the window. I know you're there. Why is your voice so deep? A moment. I was like, okay, what the f***? A moment? What kids say that? I was frozen in fear and just refused to answer them at all. I waited for them to go away and didn't dare look out my window because I just knew that they were right next to it and oh, would be staring back at me with pitch black no, eyes. Dude. Mm -mm. Then, after a few seconds of silence, they started pounding on my window, and I heard the same voice again. Scram! In, please, it's cold. We have to call our mum. She'll be worried if we don't call her. Go to the neighbours! At this point, I was almost in tears. My Just sat back broke. against the arm of my couch and held my legs up to my chest. There was no way I was answering that f***ing door. Facts! I stayed that way for about half an hour until I was sure okay, that they were gone. Okay, I see the switch right here. Was quiet. Details. I never saw these kids' eyes. I have no idea for sure if they were black-eyed children, but I definitely believe that they were. I grabbed my phone and called my friend, who had suggested I read the stories, and woke her up and begged her to come stay the night with me. After I told her what happened, she agreed right away. Mm. About 15 minutes later, she still wasn't here. I started to get worried. Where you at, she girl? News on the next street over. I saw headlights in my driveway and looked out the window. I saw her get out of the car and run to my door, banging on it. On, I let her in immediately, and she was crying, and had this terrified look on her face and said, You aren't going to believe this, but I swear to God, I just encountered the two kids you told me about. She said she was at a stop sign and checked her phone for a second when this kid knocked on her window. It startled her, so she looked up, and strangely, the street lights were out, so oh, she couldn't see his face. I can see it! But there was another younger kid behind him. She cracked the window open, already apprehensive, and said, Can I help you? And the kid said, Give us a ride. In a demanding, ask? voice for a child. She didn't say anything, and the kid stepped toward her car, and he was close enough now that she noticed he had jet black eyes. Wall to wall black, no oh. white. Mm -mm. She said she wanted to drive away immediately, but felt like she was being pulled into his stare, almost opening her door before she snapped out of it. She gunned the gas pedal and went straight to my house. Dang. We stayed up the rest of the night together. According to the stories, they usually pay you more than one visit, so I'm going to take a sh ton of melatonin and knock myself out tonight to try and sleep right through. No, in case I they ain't decide sleeping. to come again. Believe me or not, this really happened, right here in Huntsville. Lock your doors and windows and ignore any child that comes to your door asking for help. Especially if it's at night. Even if they really do need help. Watch out for the black-eyed children. I actually know about them. It's a creepypasta. Look it up.
I just sent you down a rabbit hole that you probably ain't gonna come back from. <laughs> This next one is called Fazbear Entertainment Video Manual and it was uploaded by Squimpus McGrimpus. Now apparently this is one in a series of these Freddy Fazbear video manual like testing and like I don't know like training videos. Now this was sent to us by Johnny MC who sent me like the entire playlist so I say we watched like one or two. Johnny I want to say thank you for sending me this and hopefully by the end of it I won't need to put some Purell in my eyes because this is a hot commodity. But the last one was real disturbing, so it, I might have to clean my eyes after this. I don't know. Welcome to the Fazbear Entertainment Main. No, I don't want to watch this. Uh -uh. No spooky, scary Sunday. No, I'm done. Cause my name is Curry Kinchin. Bro, y'all really trying to watch these cursed videos? It's cursed. Welcome to the Fazbear. It's freaking Windows 95 voice reading to me. If you playing this through your speakers, you about to... <laughs> you about to invite demons in your house. Put the headphones on. Welcome to the Fazbear Entertainment Maintenance Video Manual. I'm not with this, bro. This tape will cover the instructions on how to clean out your state of art animatronic characters. Each animatronic has the same cleaning procedure. First, reach behind their neck and press the red button. Oh this will set them into maintenance mode. Oh my goodness. Second, it's gonna press move. the blue unlock button on the back of the head. Remove the upper jaw carefully. Don't then trust it, guys. the lower jaw. Okay. Third, press down on both shoulders oh, to unlock the shoulder joints. Remove both arms. Finally, take the torso piece and lift it upward until it is completely removed. Oh my gosh. It's a kid. They Climb inside the torso and accept your death. Oh my gosh! We on to the next video. Bonnie joint movement testing? Fingers. Yo, oh, these videos are cursed! Legs. Okay. Got a little articulation. Nope. Uh oh, eyes. Uh oh. Is it looking at us? Oh my goodness. Whoa! Wait, I think I saw it. Oh, yep, there it is. Look at him in the dark. Why would you want to work here? Yeah, I see you back there. I see you. Oh my! You invite demons in your house. This one is called Not Alone in Here, and it was uploaded by Pony Smasher. Are you smashing ponies, David? Now, this was sent to us by Jacqueline, who said, I think you will like this one. <laughs> What's up with all this ominous laughter, Jacqueline? Huh? Uh oh. Uh oh. I know I locked the door. I have the exact same routine every night. <gasps> I know this lady. She was in something else we watched. I'm calling the cops. I'm calling the cops. Where is your curtain? You know how you can sometimes feel the presence of another person before you even know they're there? Yes. Yes, ma'am. I hate that feeling. Oh, 
Ooh, this is good. Hold up, Pony Smasher. Hold up. Cinematography on point. Sound on point. Acting on point. Let me shut up. What would I even tell the police? It feels like there's someone in my house. Sure. Hi, honey. Just checking in to see where you are. Oh, you're that close. Great. Then I'll see you soon. You should have said two minutes. By the way, did you guys go to the shooting range today? <laughs> okay. Her voice all I shaking. was wondering when one of the guns were missing. Love you, bye. Okay, Come on. See you soon. Bye. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Commit. This is so stupid. Oh boy. It's too quiet, man. Did I leave that open? No. It Leave. took all the courage I had and a big knife <laughs> to look through the house. Bro, you're not even ready to stab. Talk about some. I would have had that joint like these. Yeah. I didn't see? find anything, which for some reason felt both good and bad. I mm. had a million thoughts. I feel you. Would it be crazy to go stay in a hotel? No. I mean, this could all be in my head. I haven't really seen any proof of anything. It was just it... an open door. Maybe I should sleep in the bathroom where I could lock the door. <gasps> oh, that scared me. No. Yeah, You're see supposed that to be safe in your own home. I'm an adult. I'm not afraid of the dark. Of course I locked every door, but just in case something was still in here, I didn't want to lock it inside. Ooh. I wanted it to be able to leave. Where is, and it's gonna keep the For key moment, to your house? I felt pretty good about myself. Proud of not letting my fear get to me. But then, I happened to glance it. And I froze with fear. Where is it? I could still see it in the corner of my eye. What? I didn't dare to look right at it. Maybe it didn't know I saw it. Maybe it will stay there if I keep my eyes on the phone. Just pretend I haven't seen it. What is it? Could I dial 911? Could I make a run for it? Maybe I... <gasps> you dead. You dead! Oh, don't play with the camera like that. Maybe it's still in there. This could be my chance. Go. I can't go, do it go, 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 go. Wait! Do not get grabbed from underneath the bed. True. That's a rookie mistake. Mm-hmm. Listen, talk to him, girl. You had your sound on. Now that's a rookie mistake. What is that? Who is that? It was just a day or two before I was found. Hello? <laughs> to be honest. Hello? I wish it had killed me. Instead, I'm trapped inside. Jesus. 
Worst of all, I'm not alone in here. All right, you guys, we're going to end it there this week. I can't give you a 10. I can't. You was about this close. I'm going to give you a 9.5. Come a little bit harder. And next week, you will have your 10. Guarantee. I'll see you then. Spooky Scary Sunday, guys. Spooky Scary Sunday. My name is Kareem Kinchin.